G'day guys, welcome back. Look what I've got. I've been wanting to make a seahorse mold for ages, ages, and I did it. It's pretty chunky. It's a chunky monkey. So we've got the big seahorse. Oh, I stretch my hand right across and I can just reach across and then there's the medium sized one and then the little baby one there and then just a little starfish as well so I am going to pour into this today this one's quite deep it's about an inch deep down in the deepest section there and I'm going to use these chameleon powders from Let's Resin I've used the intense chameleon powders previously in other things, but I've never used this pack. Um, it's a it's a ten pack, and I've just chosen these four colours down here. I think they look more seahorsey, <laughs> if that's a <the> thing. <laughs> All right, so I've got plum. That's that one. Teal. They gotta have teal, don't you, for a seahorse? Grape, that one, and then blue is that one on the end. So we'll get started. I'll move all this out of the way and we'll get started. Now, my favorite color is gonna be this amazing teal. So, oh, let's get going. I'll do a little bit and then, um, I don't know, I'll see how I go. I may just. You know, fast forward you because you're going to be a bit bored <laughs> watching me do all of this. And look, if a little bit drips in, I'm not going to be too precious about it because um, I'm going to do different colours on the seahorse. And by that, I mean, see how that one's there and then there and then there and then, like they're each a different colour. I'm going to dust each one with a different colour. So there's his little face. Make sure you go up the sides because you want your sides to be coloured as well. So we'll dip into my little pot and then, you know, sort of tap some of it off. Oh gosh, <laughs> I was trying not to do that. <laughs> okay. It's just messy, you guys. It's just messy. It's not me. <laughs> it's not. I'm going to go around here, and these little ear flaps or whatever they're called, I'm going to do those a different colour. So I'm going to go around here in the, in the teal, like so. But while I've got the teal, actually I better get a baby wiper out. I've got my baby wipes over here. Let's just grab a baby wipe. If I do want to just tidy up. A little something. I didn't realise I was going to make such a mess. I just started and I'm making a mess already. Oh my god. Oh gosh. All right. So while I've got the um, mica on my, the teal on my little brush here, I'll go and, and do some more teal. I'm just putting that there. That way I can clean off the brush between colours. All right. Here we go. So I'm going to do need a, a smaller brush that one and then up there okay we're going across <laughs> we're going across oh gosh this is where I can't see what I'm doing and if I look to see what I'm doing over here I'm gonna have to turn it around and I get my big head in the way I'll try and go a bit faster now okay and like I said, it doesn't matter if you if you sort of spill over into the other one. They're all going to be blended and hopefully look really pretty. So I don't mind if they go over a little bit. Can't be helped, really. Well, I guess you could really take your time and get a, use a smaller brush, but I'm not going to be too pedantic about it. So is everyone ready for Christmas? 
decorated your tree, done all your shopping. I'm pretty organised. I'm, I'm almost there. My tree's up. Decorations are done. Done a bit of Christmas baking. Still need to do a bit more. It's a bit early yet to do it all, isn't it? I'm going to have to get a smaller brush to go in, in there. Because I'm making a mess. This one. There we go. Yep, definitely making a mess. <laughs> I don't know whether I'm supposed to be doing the raised bits or the lower bits. These ones, I'm, yeah, raised. <laughs> raised bits. As long as we go up the sides, it'll be fine. And you're not going to go, oh, look at that, she's coloured that that one line in on a wrong colour, you know, it's not going to be that, it's not going to be like that, it's just going to be pretty, alright, in here it's a bit tricky, we're just going to go with a few little different colours in there, like so, alright, now, um, let's put that aside for a minute, and this sort of pinky one, I've got it on my thumb, I'll do in here, this little Ear flaps. Oh, I could have actually done his eye a different colour, but I might just uh, give that a bit of a make it black later on after it's unmolded. Just colour it in with my black pen marker. What's this one called? Plum. And I'm going to do these in the plum as well. They kind of match a little fin thing, and there's one there as well. And then while I've got plum on here, I'll just put a little bit more in there. So you get the general idea about what I'm doing here, just basically covering making sure that everything's covered it doesn't have to stay in its own little line area just whatever you want to do whatever floats your boat you do it change over to the bigger one I'm going to do the little ones as well I'm going to do every all the pieces in this mold today and I've made the seahorses so that they all face the same way <laughs> you know that way so you can they can line up in in size which I thought would be nice if you're doing a, a set of three you may want to uh, use them like as part of a canvas piece of art that you're doing uh, the bigger one you could put a, a like a stick on hook thing on it and hang it on your wall the little ones could well that one could be a keychain that could be a lovely pendant um, wouldn't it be gorgeous like if you just dusted it with like a metallic silver or bronze or something like that just in the one color it would look like it was silver It'd be so pretty all right I'm gonna put you on fast forward now and I'll do the rest and I'll catch up with you when it's ready to pour the resin into finished my dusting the bigger ones obviously easier to you know make more more colors in um, this one I just put the colors down the 
down the length of it and this one's just got a couple of colors down the length and then a blue head and I've mixed up my black all right we'll get started I've mixed up the uh, platinum river table epoxy um, because it's kind of deep in there and it's it's really good with its bubble release and I've put some in here as well just so that I can pinch that and it just makes it a little bit easier when you're pouring into something little <laughs> but of course I had to go over anyway it's all right I can clean that up later but I'll just let that settle and then I'll come back in and Add a bit more. Here's the little one, little bubby one. That's better. I did that one better. <laughs> oh, that one's all right. oh no, I have gone over a little bit on that one. These are great little things. You can clean up any areas with those, and then just wipe it on a piece of paper towel. Little got got little um whoops cotton bud things on the ends of them. They're very handy to have in your in your studio. So I keep going over the edge. Doesn't matter. I'll fix them up later. Pour a bit more into this one. Uh, and I made up. I probably made up way too much. But I did uh, 100 grams of A and 43 grams of B. Which is, yeah, probably way too much. Just push the resin in. Now oh, that one's already gone in all by itself. I'll just add a little bit more, bring it up to the top. Okay, I've got enough for my little starfish. Again, pour some in, wait for the resin to level and then add some more later or you can push it around <laughs> with the stick. I've got way too much black, oh my gosh. What am I gonna do with a whole heap of black now? I don't know. Let's just pour this in. Round we go. I'm trying not to make a mess. Oh gosh. <sighs> Let's get a baby wipe out. If you're cleaning up your edges, always push towards, not away, because then you just make it worse. You just make more, more mess on your mold. All right. I'll put that back in its little holder. Keep it nice and clean. Now I'm going to put a little bit more in here. I might have to go and find something else to do real quick and then use that, just something little and then I can use the rest of that black, hey. I need to go up into the little ears here. I'm so excited about this. Hopefully it's going to be really cute. And then into these little fins here. A little bit more. Just bring it right up to the top. If you don't bring it up to the top, then you end up with a little lip. I'd rather have it a little bit over and dome it rather than a bit under and then it's got that sharp lip on it. Okay, how's that looking? Well, the seahorse has leveled itself out. Not the seahorse, the starfish, that one. Oh gosh. Okay, a little bit more, a little bit more. I don't want to overflow anybody, but I want to just have it right up to the top. Okay, that'll do, there we go. There's my four black resin pieces. <laughs> oh dear. All right, um, now I will have to wait till tomorrow to unmold. I'm not going to torch because 
only little things and I don't want to burn my mold but um, the river resin is a bubble there the river resin is really good for bubble release bubbles will come up on their own um, you could if you want to just give it a spray this, so this is the back so I don't mind spraying with alcohol if it's the back get out bubble got him all right see you tomorrow oh I hope it turns out pretty it's the next day it's time to unmold drum roll please all right let's start with the little seahorse it's a big thick mold look at that <laughs> because this guy's so deep this one's not that deep oh look you're coming out already hang on you're not ready yet getting this one out first actually I'll just put it down like that and then peel I guess whoops you're not quite Whoops, you're not quite done yet, are you? So I did do you yesterday afternoon and now it's only 6.30 in the morning, so it's probably not quite set yet. That's all right. I'll just lay him flat. Once I've turned him over, I'll lay him flat and then you can cure the rest of the way. I'm just too excited. <laughs> so excited, you guys. So excited. I can't wait any longer. There we go. With resin, the deepest part cures first, and then the, the little thinnest areas or the shallowest areas, they take the longest to cure. Ta-da! And then I just get some baby wipes with a bit of alcohol and clean up my mold later. But there it is. All right. Let's see how let's see how they're all like that way. That's why I did them that way, <laughs> so we could they could all line up like that. Anyway, let's move you two out of the way, and we'll start with the little guys first. Zoom in a bit. There we go. All right, little starfish. Oh look. He's so cute. There's a little bit of pink and a little bit of blue on him. Cute, cute, cute. All right, seahorse number one. Oh, look. He's really nicely detailed. Little seahorse. You're probably a bit close, aren't you? Look at that. Got a hint of, was that the blue? I can't even remember what I used now. So cute. All right, the next one. So this one's got a little bit more color on him. It's got the purple there and then the, is it the teal and the blue? Look at that. Oops, you can't even see his head. Look at that. It's so pretty. So cute. Look at the look at the detail in that. It's just amazing. Alright, that's that one. Now the big un, the big un. Are we ready? Okay, here we go. Oh look. This one's more shiny. Those two are a little bit more matte. This one is shinier look at that oh it looks so good there's these little I don't know what those are called little ear flaps little fin things I like how they're a different color and then it matches with that one and then these two here are the same as well and that purpley tone now we're down to his tail what do you think? Do you like that? Oh, I'm so happy with it. First time using this mold. You, you just never know what you're going to get, do you? You not don't know because you've never used it before. I love it. 
it's well proportioned. I'm, I'm happy with that. Some of the seahorses have got such huge heads or they've got such a big belly and I think, oh my God, you just look a bit out of, out of place. Oh, I love it. Okay, so here we go. Here's our, here's our little family of seahorses. Now I will sit them just like that for the rest of the day so that they can set properly. I've all got matching little curly tails. <laughs> Love them! Yay! So happy it's worked. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed my little video of seahorses. And uh, yes, remember this mold is available in my store if you would like one. It's pretty heavy though, so I'm sorry. It's probably a little bit more. Cost wise, only because this guy's so thick. So, you know, I go by the weight of my silicone that I've had to use. So, there you go. So pretty. So pretty. Love them. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go and have my coffee. I haven't had my coffee yet. I was too excited to come in and see how this were going to go. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed my video. And uh, I'll see you again real soon for the next one. Okay. <laughs> Take care. Bye for now.